So today, you guys, this video is sponsored by Fitville. I am so excited that they reached out to me and they asked me if I would like to try um, some of their footwear. They have not only sneakers, but they have flats, they have sandals, they have various other shoes. But of course, me being a nurse, I wanted to try the sneakers. So I have a pair of their running shoes. They also sent me a pair of their walking shoes. Both pair are sneakers. But again, me being a nurse, I wanted to try something like this to see how comfortable it would be on my feet while I'm working. So this really um, was a good shoe for me to try. I have worn these shoes to work for two days so that I could give a very full review on them. And I have to tell you that these shoes are quite comfortable. They have a large toe box so that I can wiggle my toes and my toes are not being squished or pinched together. They have very good arch support. I can feel the arch um, definitely in the shoe lifting my arches up, which is great. And they also have excellent heel cushion. So I really enjoy these shoes. They are very stylish. They're absolutely cute. And if you guys would like to try Fitville, there will be a discount code in my description box, D15. And maybe you might like them too. So hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Cute and Crafty and I am back with seven DIYs for you today. And this is a special video because this is Christmas in July, the start of holiday crafting a little bit early. So let's get into it. We're going to be making some birch logs. You're going to need two paper towel holders. You're going to need some of that birch looking ribbon from the Dollar Tree and various other ribbons of your choosing. Some twine. I have one of these little red cardinals. I have some berries and picks and pine cones and branches, different things that I want to use. You can embellish however you want. And this is so easy and so simple and it comes out really cute. And I have to tell you, when you try to buy the birch logs in the stores anywhere, they're expensive. So I was so glad when I found this ribbon. It's kind of papery. It's, it's a weird texture, but it is awesome for this DIY. So I'm just cutting out circles to cover the ends of the paper towel holders. And I cut the paper towel holders to the size that I wanted. And after I cut my circle, I went ahead and put some little slits, some little cuts all the way around the circle so that when you fold it back onto the paper towel holder, it folds nicely. If you try to just fold it and not make those little cuts, you get a lot of wrinkles. But if you make the cuts, it lays down better for you. You don't have to worry about a lot of pleating. So now that I've got the ends on onto the um, paper towel holder. I'm just going to go and hot glue the ribbon. I mean, all the way around, just piece by piece by piece until it's covered. This could not get any easier, but it comes out really, really cute. I absolutely love it. But is it my favorite out of the seven that I'm going to show you today? No. <laughs> if you want to know which one is my favorite, you're going to have to keep watching. So now that I have all three of my logs all covered, I'm just gluing them together. And then we'll just embellish in any way you choose, whatever ribbon you want, whatever kind of greenery you want. Just do your own thing, do what matches your home, do what makes you happy. I will definitely be making some more of these, but I'm going to make them really, really small for a tiered tray. I'm just taking my ribbon, and I, I think this might be ribbon from Hobby Lobby last year. I had to go through my stash, you guys, because it is definitely not holiday season where I can just readily find things that I need for this kind of video. So I dug around in my stash, and I pulled up a lot of my Christmas stuff from last year. Luckily, I'm that kind of shopper that I'll buy a lot at the end of season and put it away. So I just went through and pulled out a couple of things for the month of July because I will be crafting for Christmas this entire month. Every four days, I'll give you another video.
Now I'm just getting my greenery on, just trying to figure out how I want it to sit, my twigs and things like that. I'm going to bundle them together because it's easier for me to handle if I do it this way. I'll get them hot glued to the top of the logs. Add my greenery, add my red cardinal, put a bow on it, and this one is done. Are you guys ready to start crafting for Christmas? I mean, this is crazy. Is anybody else crafting for um, Christmas now for Christmas in July? Hallmark starts their movies in July for Christmas in July, just for the month. I never crafted for Christmas in July, never thought anything about it, but I think it's kind of a big deal, you guys. Let me know if you are crafting for Christmas in July. And if you are, please don't hesitate to go over to D's Cute and Crafty DIY Divas, my private Facebook group. Ask to become a member and admin will let you in and I can see all the beautiful Christmas in July crafts that you're making. Just getting this glued down. I'll add my berries in. I'm just seeing how I want to place my bird. And you guys are definitely going to see some more red cardinals because I got a lot of them. I got to figure out what I'm going to do with all of them. And get my double bow. Glue that down. We're done. How cute is that? Here it is, you guys. Absolutely adorable. Moving on to DIY number two, I have those leftover pieces of wood plank. I have one of the blank Dollar Tree wood planks. I have some of their wood cutouts. I'm using some of this paper cardstock from Hobby Lobby. I have my apple barrel in Christmas tree and my deco art in Santa Claus. And I've got some of these little black vinyl letters and they are also from they're either Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby so I'm going in and I am painting my little Christmas trees in the Hello Hobby Sage and then I'm just going to measure out how much cardstock I need to cover the center of this wood plank we're going to Mod Podge that down or use the Jot glue stick. Looks like I'm going in with the glue stick. And then I have these two um, wood planks, these little pieces that I got from a crate. I have these two pieces. It was another DIY that I did when I was doing sunflowers, and I have these, these two pieces left. So I'm going in with that Christmas tree green, but we're going to dull it down a whole lot. 
but I wanted to use two different colors of green. I didn't want it to all be monochromatic green. So we're going to paint those two pieces in the green, letting that dry, and now I am taking those little vinyl letters and I'm spelling out the word hope on my trees. And we're just going to glue one to the top and one to the bottom. And here you see me dry brushing it with my homemade white chalk paint. I'm going to go in and dry brush it some more with that um, Hello Hobby Sage. And I'm just going to staple these on. Now I'm gluing my trees down. Again, you guys, this one's so simple, but it's really cute. I love how it turned out. Just going to add my greenery trying to decide do I want it in the middle do I want it on the side I love Christmas crafting oh my goodness Christmas crafting Easter crafting Halloween 4th of July all of the holidays I just really love it there's so many things you can do I just never get tired of it so now that I've got my greenery glued down I just made a little simple bow going to put that in the middle of the greenery I'm going to add some tumbling tower blocks to the back so that it stands on its own this would be cute on a Christmas tiered tray here's the reveal as always, you guys, comment down below. Let me know which one is your favorite. And if you've made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing and giving this video a big fat thumbs up. Hit the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another cute and crafty DIY with D. Moving on to DIY number three, you're going to need one of the 14-inch Dollar Tree um, wreath forms. I'm doing some hand lettering. I've got some little berries and picks. We'll see what I decide to use, if anything. I have one of the Dollar Tree summer signs. I have a gnome that was gifted to me. It was on a bottle of wine that was given to me last year. So I'm going to use that. I have some more of that birch ribbon and various other ribbons from Hobby Lobby and Joann's. So I am going to start out by getting this little Hello Summer sign it's one of the little uh, children's kits that they can color in with markers. So I'm going to use the plaque from that or this wood round or oval from that. And I'm just going to cover it with that birch ribbon. It's weird for me to call this ribbon because I'm telling you, if you guys have this, it feels like paper. It's a, it's a plasticky, papery, weird feeling. But I love the look of it. So I started out trying to get this adhered down with a glue stick. That did not work. I had to Mod Podge this. So you'll see me putting it down with the glue stick, but just no. Mm -mm. I had to go back in and I Mod Podged it. The other thing about this that I like is you can write on it. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what kind of ribbon material this is, but I love it. I wrote on here... For the holidays I go in with pencil first and do my hand lettering then I go back in with my sharpies and just make everything nice and clean dark and I you know straighten it all up 
but I like to do pencil first. That way, if I mess up, I can erase it. And if I go in with Sharpie first, that's just, it's a done deal. So I'm just going over everything, making it nice and crisp so you can see it. Now I'm going in with my um, thicker Sharpie. That was my ultra fine Sharpie I started out with. Now I'm going in with a regular Sharpie and hitting all the spots that I need to be thicker and darker for my faux calligraphy look that I'm going for. And now that that's done, I am going to take this really pretty gray and silver ribbon. And I feel like I got this ribbon at Joann's last year. I'm not sure. I don't think it's Hobby Lobby. I really think it's Joann's. And we're just going to wrap this wreath. Just put a little dab of glue here and there. Ever so many wraps. Every so many wraps. I'll add a dab of glue. Wrap a couple times. Add a dab of glue. Until we get it completely covered. And now I'm just putting everything on, just seeing where I want it. I'm going in with some of my paddle wire. I'm taking my Sharpie and marking where I want to put my holes. And I'm just going to go in with my awl and just poke holes through this very, very thin wood plaque. It's easy to do because it's really, it's very thin. So I'm just poking my holes in where I want them because I'm going to wire this to the wreath. I like doing that better than adding a ton of glue. Now I'm going to just add my gnome, I'm going to wrap it around the wreath and hot glue it in the back. And now I'm going to cut apart this um, greenery because I want to put some of it on the sign and I want to put some of it on the gnome's hat. This came out so cute. I thought it was fun to have the gnome sitting right beside the sign so that when you look at it, you think gnome for the holidays. I know it's nothing that I thought of. It's been out forever, but I just like that. I didn't write the word gnome. I actually used a gnome to say gnome for the holidays. This one really, I, it was almost my favorite. It, 
It was almost my favorite. I'm still wavering between this one and one more. I think I'm going to go with this one. This one is my favorite, you guys. I'm going to go with the wreath. I love this ribbon. This ribbon came from Hobby Lobby last year. Beautiful ribbon. And it ties in so nicely with the gray on the wreath and the gray in the gnome's hat. So we're just going to make a big old bow. You guys, my wrist was giving me heck. I had to put my brace on. Oh my goodness. It was just on fire. But, got to get these crafts out. So I took my ibuprofen, I put my brace on, and I got to crafting. And actually, as I'm doing this voiceover, it feels so much better. Thank the good Lord, because, oh my goodness. So we're just going to tie these together. You can see I'm struggling with the bow because it's hard to craft with this brace on, but I have to have it on because without it, I twist my wrist too much um, while I'm crafting, and then that causes inflammation, and then it starts to ache. With the brace on, it keeps me from over-twisting, and so it limits how much movement I have because that's what it's supposed to do, but then it takes me forever to put to... <laughs> it takes me forever to put the crafts together or to get a bow tied or any of that stuff. So please bear with me. This video is a little bit long. Here it is all finished. Absolutely gorgeous and my favorite of the seven that I will be showing you today. Moving on to DIY number four. I have these picks bundled together. I'm not going to end up using them. You're going to need one of the long Dollar Tree signs, craft paper of your choice. I am going to be using the Hello, no, Waverly chalk paint in the color lacquer and my homemade white chalk paint. I'm going to be using one of these keys. I picked them up at Joann's and various ribbons from Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree. As I'm using them, I'll try to remember where they came from and let you know. So I am taking this sign left over from 4th of July and I'm going to cut it in half. Once I cut it in half, I'm going to cut the corners off and make it a tag. So if you have one long sign, you can get two tags out of it, which I love that idea. I painted one in the Waverly chalk paint in the color lacquer. And I'm going to take the other one and I'm just going to Mod Podge this really cute Buffalo check print truck paper onto this tag. Now that that's done, I'm going in with my homemade white chalk paint and I'm doing a little bit of dry brushing on this red tag. Um, and actually looking back at this, I wish I had done a heavier dry brush in this white. I went in with my pencil and I wrote, uh, what did I write? Santa's magic key for our home without a chimney. And I did that in pencil. I'm going to go back in like I like to do with my Sharpie. And I'm going to sharpen that up and make it dark so you can see it. I really, really wanted to do the lettering in white. But I was afraid that my white was going to bleed into that red and then turn pink. And then I thought, well, because it was going to, I have a um, 
a Dollar Tree white marker and they tend to bleed. I also have one of the Dollar General white paint pens. They bleed too, especially if you've already written in pencil, then it comes up kind of gray. And then with it being on top of that red, I just didn't want to chance it and mess it up. So I didn't use it. What I need to do is invest in some of the Arteza paint markers or paint pens, and maybe I would not have that issue. So this would look better if the wording was white, but we're going to work with what we have. I'm just taking some of that Buffalo check paper and putting it at the bottom of each one of these tags. And here you see me going in with my Sharpie and darkening up those letters, that wording. I'm starting out with my super fine Sharpie, but I do switch over to a thicker one because it's going to take forever to get this the way I want it with this thin Sharpie. There it is. So now I'm just trying to figure out which key looks the best. Which one do I like? I picked these up at Joann's and they were $5.99 and I don't remember if I got a sale or not. Usually if I'm at Joann's, I wait for a sale. If it's not on sale, I don't get it. Um, so most likely this had some kind of percentage off. I've had them so long, I can't tell you what it was. So I chose the key that had the three rings at the top and I'm going to get it glued down. I put a piece of jute cord on there so that it looks like it's hanging from the top of the sign. I used my leftover snowflake from um, a previous DIY. And now I'm just going to tie a jute bow and adhere that to the top of the key. Now I'm just trying to figure out how I want my tags to sit. So I want to be able to see the truck, so I just put it on the opposite side so that you can see that really pretty truck with the buffalo print. And then I'm going to use the black and white checkered ribbon along with the um, farmhouse red truck ribbon. And we're going to make a big bow and put it at the top. And that's why I didn't end up using the greenery because it was too much. I keep going back trying to make sure that the bow is not too big, it's not too small. So you see me taking the tags and putting them back and checking the bow again. Just going to pinch those loops together in the middle and get it tied off with some jute cord. And I'm not going to make tails for this bow because the tails would hang down in front of the wording. And I don't want to block that. And I don't want to block the key. Just fluffing out those loops.
this is the one that gave me a hard time in my decision making about which was my favorite because this one really, really almost was, but the gnome won out. But this one is a close second. It is super cute and so easy to make. I absolutely love this one, and I hope you guys do too. So now I'm just marking where my holes are going to go. I've got my holes pushed through, and I'm just going to tie this bow on. Anytime I can wire or tie something on, I'll do that to keep from using so much hot glue. And it also acts as a hanger. It's a win-win. Here it is, you guys. All finished. Moving on to DIY number five, you're going to need one of these Dollar Tree signs, ribbon of your choice. I have some of the Let It Snow wood pieces. I'm still using my little wood cutouts, some greenery, some burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree, one of those um, snowmen. It looks like a napkin holder, actually, but one of the snowman boxes and my paints that I've been using. I've got the lipstick red, the Christmas tree green my homemade black and white chalk paint. So I'm just going to use one of those snowmen. I just broke it apart and I'm painting it with my white chalk paint. And I went in with my Hello Hobby pumpkin and I just made his little carrot nose. And now I am going in with the Deco Arts Lipstick Red, and I'm painting the hat red. Typically, of course, the top hat is black, but it's going on a black background, so it would get lost in the black. So I painted it red so that it stands out. And I'm taking my ribbon, and I'm giving him a red scarf. And now that that's all done, I have all of my um, words, let it snow. I have all of that painted in my homemade white chalk paint. I painted that when I painted the snowman. Um, and then I painted all of the snowflakes white as well because we'll be using those in this DIY. I'm going to use three of them. And as you already seen, I used the last one. There's four. I used one in another DIY. I used it on the tags. I painted my chalkboard or chalkboard. I painted my sign in my homemade black chalk paint. And I actually had to paint the other side. I tried to paint the side with the wording on it, but you could still see it after two coats. So I just flipped it over and painted the other side. Now I have my bundle of greenery and I want it to look like a little tree standing beside the snowman. So I added some burlap to the bottom of the tree to make it look like it's standing in a planter.
Now I'm just arranging my words, seeing where I want them to go before I get them glued down. Going to add in the snowflakes. As you can see, that one is not quite dry, so it's going to sit right where it is. I can't move it or rearrange it because I don't want to paint over that little dab of white. So it's fine right there. <laughs> Getting the snowman glued down. This one was quick and easy, and it's really simple and cute. Love those colors together. Just going to add a hanger. And this one's done. No bow, no extra frills. I love it the way it is. It's just enough. Here's the final reveal. Moving on to DIY number six, another quick and easy one. You're going to need one of these triangle like shadow boxes from Dollar Tree. I'm still using my wood cutouts. I have a little bit of greenery. I have some cardstock from Hello Hobby. I have one of the little wood pieces from Dollar Tree. They come in a bag of like, I don't know how many. There's a lot in that bag. And um, I have a little bit of batting from an old pillow. So I start out by taking the back out of this triangle form because I'm going to use my cardstock to change the look of it. We're going to see what we want to put on this triangle, looking for something that's either red but not green because we're going to put a tree on here, so we don't want green on green. So I'm just going through and we are going to use the Santa. This one looks so old fashioned. It looks like Santa from back in the day. I, I really like it. So I'm just cutting this out. One piece of cardstock was not enough to cover the triangle. So I had to use two pieces and we're going to piece this together and it's going to be fine. Just trying to match up my Santas as best I can so that this comes out fairly seamless. And I'm going to use my Jot glue stick. It works really good when you're trying to get um, cardstock adhered to something. But it doesn't work so well when you're trying to adhere that birch ribbon that I showed you. That didn't work. You have to use Mod Podge on that. But for card cardstock, the glue, the glue stick is really good. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. I heard my dog outside barking, so I'm kind of looking to see what is she doing. What is she into? She antagonizes the neighbors, you guys. She's such a little thing, and she just thinks she's as big as all get out. She just barks at them through the fence. 
So now that that's all in place, got that glued back down. I'm going to take one of these little wood pieces and I'm going to put a little hole in there so that the tree can sit in there. That little bit of greenery will make a nice tree. So I added some hot glue inside the hole and put the greenery in there and then at the bottom and glued it to the bottom of the triangle. Quick and easy, but super cute. I'm going to glue down some of this batting to make it look like snow, of course. I'm going to add one of the wood glitter stars to the top of this um, triangle form. And I did go back in and add hot glue to that star. Here it is, the final reveal. Quick, easy, cute. All right, you guys, moving on to DIY number seven and the last one in this video today. I have one of those Dollar Tree snakes. I have some of the Dollar Tree um, fabric. I have the lid to a pair of shoes. 